A Republican, our own Governor Rick Perry, might have just made another move toward a possible presidential bid. He's inviting other governors in a day of prayer and fasting, while also enlisting the help of one of the nation's most controversial social groups. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle joins us live from the state capitol. And Josh, what are the analysts saying? Will, will this hurt or help Governor Perry? Well, it could do one or both. Actually, when he has that August uh, prayer rally, it will be a Christian prayer rally, and it could be so large it fills Reliant Stadium. That's where the Houston Texans play. And he has also invited one of the nation's leading Christian conservative groups that's also opposed to gay rights legislation to host it. Earlier today, when I spoke to the governor's office, they told me the American Family Association actually promotes faith and strong families. But the UT-based think tank, the Texas Politics, Politics project says this move could hurt him in the long run for president during a general election if he decides to run, but appealing to Republicans in a primary election is a different story. This on top of several other extreme conservative moves like his support of a sonogram bill and the sanctuary city's ban this past session could really help him out. Answer the criticism that's percolating out there that says, well, maybe the country's not ready for another president from Texas. You push back against the image of the previous president from Texas and you rebrand Texas through these kind of extreme policy positions. I also spoke with the Anti-Defamation League here in Austin today. They say that this kind of prayer move makes it seem like non-Christians are outsiders. So it's something that will probably come up if he decides to run for president. He's still sidestepping that issue, but has said that he will talk more about it pro probably after the special session. That could come as early as two weeks from now, the end of that. For now, we're live at the State Capitol. Josh Hinkle, KXA in Austin News.